Hi there, this is a video to show you how you can draw um, a climate graph. So as you can see here, this is your finished product. The first thing you need to do is open Excel. And the second thing you need to do into two columns, put the temperature and rainfall. Remember the temperature, either choose to do the maximum or minimum temperatures, and that's measured in degrees Celsius, or you can, um, choose an average temperature as well. Once you've done the temperature, you need to do the rainfall and that's measured in millimeters. Now, a climate graph is pretty complex because we've got two types of graph. We've got the column graph and then we've got the line graph as well. So this is how um, you do it. You need to make sure you highlight the information. You go into insert and you see the charts you're going to do a bit of a di different one so you're going to click the arrow to see all charts and if we go to all charts and what i want you to do is to scroll down to combo and then we need to make sure we pick the, uh, the the correct one so this is what we're looking for but we need to make sure the temperature is in fact a line graph so you can pick any choice of your line graphs and the rainfall is a column graph like so then the next thing you need to do is click on secondary access and that will split up the um, the graphs you click OK and then this will happen and then what you need to do is to add your um, axes um, so obviously give your map a title. So I've got climate graph of the central coast. You need to, you know, sort of put an axis title for the rainfall and the temperature. And to read the graph for rainfall, I look at the column graph, which is here. And you can tell that from the legend or key. And then obviously my line graph, we read from the right hand side here for temperature. Um, it's really important that you label your, your um, axes. Um, really straightforward and easy to do and that's how you do it and then what you can do is to copy and paste this into your um, your your word document as well so that's how you do your central your your climate graph um, I hope that helps and explained everything for you okay